Also tonight, a new COVID booster shot targeting the Omicron variants could be ready for millions of Americans next month. Experts tell Meyer Rodriguez having these boosters ready for fall may be critical in preventing an even larger COVID surge than we saw this summer. The clock is ticking for when new COVID boosters may become available for Americans. As the weather turns cooler in the coming months, more people are expected to head indoors, increasing the chances COVID could spread more easily. The drier weather and the colder weather may promote transmission. So we have to be prepared for that uh, in advance. Dr. Bruce Wiley is a professor at City University of New York's Graduate School of Public Health and Health Policy. He also heads up the research organization FICOR, which examined COVID vaccination rates. Dr. Lee says there are concerns about booster fatigue. You know, having a vaccine once a year, we're used to it when it comes to uh, the flu vaccine. But more often than that, uh, you know, that, that might cause logistical challenges and, you know, people may be, not be as willing to get a vaccine as frequently. COVID vaccination rates vary wildly depending on what state you live in. Rhode Island leads the way with 85 percent of its residents fully vaccinated. Maryland comes in at number nine with 77 percent. Colorado ranks 16 with 71 percent. And further down the list, Florida at number 22 with 68 percent and Arizona at 30 with 63 percent fully vaccinated. Wyoming ranks last with 51 percent. It's an ongoing issue because COVID variants keep emerging. The White House officials say the upcoming boosters, which could target the BA4 and BA5 Omicron variants, are a marked improvement from what's available now. These are substantial upgrades in our vaccines in terms of their ability to prevent infection, to prevent transmission, uh, certainly to prevent serious illness and death. But while the UK approved the new Moderna booster, the US has yet to formally approve any new boosters. The manufacturer, you know, uh, Pfizer or Moderna has to present all the trial data that they have accumulated, uh, as well as any other data that from other studies from, from other sources. And the FDA then will review this. Some manufacturers might have started producing the vaccine ahead of approval, but more needs to still be produced. They've managed to cut it down to like 90 to like 100 days in terms of doing the whole manufacturing run to produce the new vaccine. But there's a certain amount that's needed to actually produce the vaccine. Which raises questions about whether the U.S. will have all the booster doses needed by the mid-September time frame set by the White House. Health experts say the sooner they're available, the better. One of the challenges throughout this pandemic is there's there's been more reactivity rather than proactivity. So it's better to try to prevent surges from happening or outbreaks from happening in the first place. In Washington, I'm Maya Rodriguez.